We're seeking freedom at this point. We can only seek freedom as people of color because all we're getting is death from the system. Where there is death row death, police killing us, intimidation by the state, detention, deportation, economic injustice, these are all state violence. We're so caught up in thinking that the only violence that we as this movement are talking about is the most egregious forms. The most egregious forms is what exposes the system of white supremacy. It is our job every day to expose everything that is wrong with the system of white supremacy, patriarchy, and capitalism. The resistance was the black power, brown power era. The rebellion is Ferguson and Black Lives Matter. And we're here. And we've survived all this. And the system of white supremacy and capitalism actually does not know what to do with us now. So either we're literally enslaved in prison, our movements are restricted, racial surveillance is imposed, institu institutionalized racism in our institutions, education, politics, economics, entertainment, even our sexuality is institutionalized racism. And when that fails to stop us, they kill us. And they kill our young boys and girls. People always ask me, why do you have Alicia at a rally? Alicia's 10 years old, and the state killed Diana Jones, and she was seven. And Tamir Rice was 12. And Michael Brown was 17. And Andy Lopez was 14. And Rakia Boyd was 17. That's why. The state kills seven-year-olds and 12-year-olds. What a disservice I would be doing if I did not racially socialize my child to understand her role in the movement at 10 years old, because that's where we're at. The future of this fight right now is going to require a radical militancy and organization and unity that we have never seen before. We cannot let fear of what we don't know outstrip what we do know. And what we do know is that we have a new generation of unapologetic, in your face, fuck the police, the whole damn system is guilty, we are taking our humanity back, get out the way, and we're talking about August 9th, right around the corner. 365 days of sustained protests in every corner of this country. We're talking about a group of young people that when they went to show their grief were met with military tanks and military might in their own neighborhoods and they stood up strong those weeks. A lot of us knew that this post 911 world would turn weapons on the, militarize these police and eventually turn on their own citizens, right? So as we move forward, and many of us too get caught up in thinking that just because we may be a majority in numbers, and people want to use that as their own electoral political gain, we could very well be the majority and live in a South Africa apartheid-like state. And that's where it's heading, y'all. You think Ferguson and Baltimore are not about social control? You think as they're not building, closing down prisons, they're not opening their, up for immigrant detention? This is what's happening. This is what's happening. Black lives matter. Unapologetic, unafraid, unbossed, unbought. We will not compromise. We will not make this palatable. We will not bend and we will no longer be passive to a system that seeks reform. We are seeking complete transformation of this system and nothing less is acceptable.